Old Yeller, Old Greg, and Old Bay. <laughs> Greetings and welcome back to another sunny seaside episode of the podcast. I'm your host as always, Captain J. With us today is Old Bay. First and foremost, I want to give a thanks and a shout out to my father-in-law, Gary, for picking this up for me. I love the fact that he thought about me when he was at Ollie's and he saw these chips and he said, have you ever seen these before when you get home? I said, no, I've never seen them before. He said, do you want to do a review on them? I was like, yeah. And that was pretty cool. So thank you so much, Gary, for doing that for me and thinking about me. That means the world to me. Now, when I was a young whippersnapper, I remember looking up into the cabinet and seeing this primary colored spice just sitting there wondering what it was. And then I saw a crab and I saw a shrimp and I saw a chicken. And those are three things that as a child I did not eat. That's correct. I didn't eat chicken until I was in my 20s. I still don't eat seafood because they are our friends and we should not harm them, especially the octopus. Leave those octopus alone. They're our friends. So I never grew up having this on a lot of dishes where my mother and my grandmother and my uncles and stuff, they would put this on everything and enjoy it. I never got to enjoy it until my later years. And I honestly didn't even try this until I tried this. This hit the market. And as you guys may or may not know, I'm a huge fan of hot sauces. They do not have to be super hot and spicy. They just have to be interesting, something different about them. And when I saw that Old Bay had teamed up with, well, hot sauce, I had to try it. And I was blown away by it. It is a totally different experience than any other hot sauce I've ever had. Just imagine like uh, it's something not quite as tangy as Frank's, but just about as hot, mixed with Old Bay, Bay seasoning, Old Bay, and Old Bay seasoning as well. I keep saying Obey, Obey. But we must all obey Old Bay today, for today we will try Old Bay potato chips. I'm really excited to try these. We're going to try them with a little bit of hot sauce. Maybe we'll put a little spice on there. But I want to give you my honest opinion of these, because this is amazing. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat right now, this is about a nine for me when it comes to hot sauces. When it was originally released, it was a limited edition thing. Still says limited edition. I don't know if you can still get at this or not, but I feel like I've seen it at the store. But if this encapsulates any of this, I'm very excited about. So without further ado, let's bust into these and give them a first Old Bay smell. You know what? Before we give them the Old Bay smell, let me smell Old Bay and see how similar it is as we open the package. Strangely, I can't smell anything, though I felt spices going into my nose. Okay, let's just try to see if I can get any smell. Oh, there it is. There's a little bit of a spice there. Not much, though, oddly enough, because it's got such a great and powerful flavor, like, like Oz. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, identical, but more potent, more powerful. I could smell it right off the bat. Just for the hell of it, I'm going to smell the hot sauce, see if we, what we get off of that. Oh, that made a god-awful mess. I apologize. Here, let me show you. It's like a piece of art, like a messy piece of art. I don't want to tip it too far forward because it's going to fall off. Yeah, that's definitely like an Old Bay mixed with a hot sauce there. There's nothing fooling you right there. If you're going to bust into an Old Bay hot sauce, you know that you're not getting a straightforward hot sauce. You're not getting a Cholula. You're not getting a Tapatia, which are my two favorite hot sauces, by the way. But you're getting your own experience here. So let's try a chip, and then we'll go from there. There we go. Down the hatch. <laughs> Wowie, wow. Holy hell. That is salty as shit. That's the saltiest chip I think I've ever put in my mouth. Now, if I'm not mistaken, hers is a little bit saltier than most of them. There's also that other company, Uts, that is a very salty chip company. This is, this is like killing me. It's sucking all the water out of my body. I'm probably drinking a gallon of water already today, and it's already gone. But for you guys, I want to try one more, and we'll try with a little hot sauce. <laughs> It's not bad. It's got the flavor of Old Bay, but it's got just way too much salt. So let's try it with a little bit of hot sauce. Maybe add a little bit of Old Bay on there, too. Who knows? I'm getting wacky today on the podcast. I hope you guys are having a wonderful summer. Um, I just want to give a quick announcement. I've got videos scheduled to come out all the way through July at this point. However, I am going to take a bit of a breather at the beginning of August. I need a little bit of a time for myself. So if those videos go from Monday, Wednesday, Friday down to Monday, Friday or whatever, you'll know why. Here we go. This is Old Bay Chip by hers with a little bit of Old Bay hot sauce on it. Oh, what the hell? Put a little Old, old Bay seasoning on there as well. Here we go. Well, that's what I would call an Old Bay overdose. That's a lot of Old Bay. That's not just a chip. It's not just hot sauce. It's the whole deal. The chips themselves are way too salty for me. 
The spice has always been a great spice. I like it on things now. Hot sauce I still use from time to time. I prefer this on more of like a chicken rather than like eggs. And these, I'm going to give a 6.5. There's just too much salt in them. I feel like if you ate a whole bag of these, you would die. You would just drop dead right there after finishing the bag. But I do appreciate my father-in-law grabbing these for me. And I thank you guys for checking out this video. 6.5. If you're into Old Bay, I'd say give them a whirl. Otherwise, I would just stay away unless, unless you want a salty, salty chip. If you're, looking for, if, you're, if you're looking to be assaulted by a salty chip, Old Bay by hers is the way to go. And if you guys are loving the content I'm creating as much as I love creating the content that you guys are watching, would you please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hitting that little bell icon because it'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier and a little bit more Old Bayish together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain as one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. Ooh-wee. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another and take care of those around you who cannot take care of themselves for they are are the ones that need it the most. And if no one has told you today that they love you, the vodcast loves you very much just the way you are. All right, guys, do no harm. I'm Jason Oliveira. This is the vodcast, and I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road to 50. Take care, my friends, and happy adventuring. Don't go to sleep with a catch it in your pocket. <laughs>